Hello people and welcome back to another lesson. In this one we are looking at Pearl Jam's Rats for Mr Andy Bremner, another Patreon. Thanks indeed for your support Andy. Um, Andy has requested Rats, Stones Parts to Rats and we're going to do this in two lessons because um, I haven't had a chance to learn the solo. I've worked it out but I haven't learned it so um, and I think it deserves its own lesson anyway. Stone doesn't get many solos so for those that are interested we will nail it as per the album, sound and all. But for this one, we're going to do the rhythm part. So let's crack on, shall we? <laughs> That's it. That is the first riff, okay? That slowly. First part goes like this. That's the first bar. Let's break that down. So you're going to play pretty straightforward. Then you've got this. And the slide's about the 19th fret. Okay? And then you've got this rhythm, which is 16th and 8th and a 16th. All right, so that first bit slowly again. And again. Okay, second bar is a lot easier. And that last phrase is just it's got a bit of a triplet feel with the open E. So you're going to play two there. And then you're going to play a power chord on the first fret. Another two on the E. Followed by power chord on the third fret, right? And then that just loops round. So that like, all slowly. Is it next riff is cool um, now on the album it sounds like there's lots more going on but because Mike's doing his bits it seems like there's more going on and Stone definitely plays this live he just plays back into the other riff okay really straightforward it's just three power chords um, fifth fret for four up two frets to the ninth for three then up one more fret and then okay so you've got seven so you hold it for one and then play seven and then play it round so that's slowly I mean, you could play if you wanted, right? So, and all I'm doing there is playing, taking all my fingers off, just to give it that that sort of vibe, right? You could play four chords if you wanted, but. I would go with just the power chords for that bit. And coming out of that, you've got a kind of little melodic fill that Stone plays. It goes like this. Like that. Alright, 
That's it. Slowly. So the second half of that is obviously the same as the verse. So if we just focus on the first half of that phrase, it is... So, that is a pretty straightforward fill. You're going to play as per before, and then you're going to play an open G, second fret on the G, bent up a full step, and then you're going to play, which is the open G, second fret on the, what's that, D, and then open. So that slowly. And that's that part. I'm going to go through the solo separately. Um, so, but that lesson is coming soon. I've worked it out, so do not worry. Now the last um, riff is awesome. It has a really cool transition, which is this. Okay, so you're essentially playing. All right, which is basically sixth fret, eighth fret, third fret, but you're playing kind of power chords or full chords. So let me play that through and forth for you. It is two, three, four. Played loads of that and it just fades out there but essentially you're going to play eight seven six power chords okay all right that's the first bar and you go up to the eighth play eight of those and then down to the g and you play 16 eighth notes there so that's two bars worth of And then you just repeat that around. So a bar on the 6th fret. Bar on the 8th fret. Two bars on the chip. So that is it. That's all from me. Thank you indeed for watching. Andy, thank you very much indeed for supporting and suggesting this one. And the solo is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Cheers, bye bye.